Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jamie V. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I have Madison here with me. She is going to be helping me with today's video. So what I've decided to do is recreate Jaclyn Hill's newest go-to makeup look. I have mostly everything that she used for the most part. So I just thought that I would try to recreate it because I've seen a lot of people since she posted that video recreate this look and I was like why not we'll have a little fun I have these things so if you're excited to see how this look turns out on me and Madison then go ahead and keep watching okay. so what I want to start doing basically every Monday for you guys on my channel is I want to start recreating makeup looks so maybe like a recreate Monday if you will if we have to name it and basically I want to go on the internet whether it be Instagram or YouTube and I want to just start recreating makeup looks from big influencers small influencers any makeup looks that I can find that I really enjoy and just kind of recreate them with you guys but today I decided that I would have Madison join me while we recreated this look because I think that Jacqueline's look I mean she hasn't done a makeup tutorial in a very long time but I think that it was a very beautiful very achievable look and everybody everybody across the internet has decided to retry it so I was like mm, me too me too so I'm gonna pull up the video here all right, so we have prepped and primed our skin and we also put in our AirPods so we can hear it and it's not crazy loud. So I'm going to fast forward to get to her actual makeup look. So she puts her foundation on first, which is different for me because if you guys are not new here, then you know that I do not do my foundation before my eyes, but that's what she's doing. So that's what we're doing. I would like to know what she used to like prep and prime her skin because it's very glowy. She says it was water, but uh, like, come on. Maybe she went like... Look how glowy her skin is. Maybe she threw water. Okay, so she went in with a hourglass foundation stick, which I have. Madison does not have, so she's going to be going in with her foundation. And I'm going to just do 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 do. Alright, so she did wind up going in also with a liquid foundation. And I don't have the liquid foundation she has. So I'm using the Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation from Hourglass. I do agree that with the Hourglass Vanish Stick, you have to mix it with something. You can't do it by itself because it's nice, but it is definitely like kind of dry. So you have to like tug on the Vanish Stick. So when you do a liquid, it just makes it look better. So I do agree with her on that. But I do not like the NARS foundation that she used so I I don't have that one this foundation is actually really freaking beautiful this is one of the foundations that Steven got me that when he did my Sephora haul I'll link that up here for you guys to check out but it looks really really good like he did really good picking that one out I feel like I actually like this okay so now we're going in with concealer she used Morphe concealer and I, I have it don't have Morphe. Oh, she has Morphe concealer. It looks like she just put hers is kind of not very like bright or much brighter than her um, skin color, which is kind of strange. But she puts a lot, so we're gonna we're gonna do exactly how she does. We're gonna put that, but mine is a lot lighter. And she also brought it to her eye. Like she has I it do up, that sometimes. She has it up and around her eye. So Madison has the Morphe concealer. Uh, I do not. I don't care for it very much, so I gave it all away. And I think you got one of them, right? Mm hmm That's one of me. Yeah, it was just, it was too drying for my skin, so I said nay nay. So we are just blending in that concealer. Did you put it on your eyelids too? Do you do that? Yes, I do it sometimes. So I don't usually do that because I put, like, my P. Louise when I clear up my brows. I put my P. Louise up there and then I put my um, Mario eye primer so I just feel like that's just so much product I just put on my eye and that looks like crazy to me. Okay, why is your concealer so much? <laughs> it's so close to your skin tone you did it just like she did but that's okay like that's how she did it. My concealer is always so much lighter like look at my face. I like it because sometimes my foundation will be a shade darker 
than what I actually need just because sometimes I just order it online and I'm like, yeah, that looks good. And then it winds up coming and it's a little bit too dark. So I feel like my concealer definitely like brightens and lightens that color up. So I don't have that set it under eye face powder. So I'm going to set it with the hourglass veil and you're using the Laura Mercier translucent. So she said, don't do too much. But then she goes in with her beauty blender and presses that in. I'm not using a lot. I'm just kind of making it look seamless, like she said. And then we'll go in with the damp beauty sponge, which sometimes I feel like this can cause a lot of cakiness. So I don't do this often. So just as a PSA kind of thing. So she's going in with an all over setting powder. It's a Giorgio Armani one. Again, I don't have that. So I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. And she is going in with the Milk Makeup Set and Blur. A very small amount with her big fluffy brush and set everything. All right. I love that brush. What brush is that that she's using? It looks like a Blush, blush. I don't know, but I need that brush. If you guys know what that brush is that she's using, let me know. It's probably a Morphe brush, but which one? So I'm going in with a golden undertone blush, and this is the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer in Sunkissed. She's going in with the Park Avenue Princess Palette and using the shade Princess Cut. And so we're just going to warm up the skin. We're going to warm up the skin. I think she says Tom Ford Bronzer Brush. No, I have a Morphe brush that you tell me to buy. Morphe. So I'm gonna go into the top of my cheek more where she said to bronze that which is kind of I don't I've never put bronzer up like to the top of my cheek so that's what we're doing that's what she said to do. More bronzer? Yes <laughs> you don't have to do more bronzer if you don't want to. So <laughs> I'm gonna go in I also have the Morphe bronzer in Mega Star. Um, it's actually it is one of my favorite bronzers so I'm going to be using that one to warm up my whole face. She puts her bronzer really really high. Oh she puts it like right here. Yeah she puts it up like really high. So we'll do it but Madison is not gonna go in with more bronzer because she just does not care for bronzer like that. She doesn't really wear bronzer that much. Why? I forgot to do my forehead. Ooh girl. <laughs> Okay, give me one that's second. The step I always forget. <laughs> you're just, you're not putting that. You're just pressing all that stuff in that you did. <laughs> you're just going and sealing, basically, is what I'm assuming you should do. I just don't have that kabuki brush. Maybe I need that brush. So I'm just going in with that clean brush. It's not clean now because I put it on my face. I changed my mind. I'm, I'm going to go in with the hula, but I'm going to do the technique that I prefer, okay. which I believe Nikki Tutorials did. I'm going to cover my whole nose in the hula bronzer. I'm good. Hold it. Burr, 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 burr. And then I'm going to go in back with my concealer and setting powder and go right up the center of my I nose. I never had a contour in your nose before. Huh? I've never contoured my nose before. Yeah, you don't so have to do that it. if you don't want and then I just, so basically what I do is I clean it up after I do that and it kind of gives me like that same effect. And then I go in with my setting powder and I just blend it all out. So she's going to bake, which is something I don't do, but I am going to do it for this video. Oh my God. Oh, oh God. So I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty Banana Bread Easy Bake because I do not have that Beauty Bakery one, which I really want to try because I heard it's really good. I don't bake, but I'm gonna do it. So she's going in with the Kylie setting powder to bake. So I'm gonna go in with your sponge, your wet sponge, and I'm just going to... So I'm not really a baking kind of person. If you're not new to my channel, then you know, like I just find this step to be so unnecessary, but I'm just, we're recreating this look, so. Oh my God. So the palette that she's going to be using is her Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 with Morphe. We do have this one. We have the other one too, but I have actually only used this like once or twice. So it looks like brand new, but I have used it like once or twice. It's okay. It's very beautiful colors, I feel like, but it's just not a palette that I feel like I go to. Okay, so we're going in with Perfectionist first. Who's does it with the same? fluffy brush so we're gonna go in with a fluffy brush into perfectionist like she did and we're going to put it in our upper outer crease so right in there and I did bring mine a little bit more I feel like in um just because I like that gradient effect so when I close my eyes you really can't see much of it because I've hooded eyes but it is there more into my inner crease how's yours coming out 
So you you should only have a little on there and just like lightly blending it in. So you don't want to. So the problem is I think that you start too heavy handed instead of building up. So you don't want to start with a lot. You want to start with a little and work your way up in building that up. So you have too much on your brush. I would like tap that. I wiped it off. Okay. And then just try to blend that out. So outer. Yeah. So outer and upper. Good job. All right. So did she put, yeah, she went into the same exact shade with just a little bit. And so basically what she's doing is she's just going up here and she's blending out any harsh lines on your inside or your outside, just so it's more seamless and less of a I think she just pointed it out. So outside. she's using comfort zone. Right next to her. And she's doing the same exact thing. A little bit lower on the eye. I don't know that I would say that this was a mauve With the same way I did. So what she does to break it down is, because she kind of like skipped through it fast, I'm going to go a little bit more on my crease with that color because she goes a little bit lower on her eye with comfort zone than she did with perfectionist just to give it a little bit more depth so i'm going back in with comfort zone real fast and i'm just going to beef up the color because she doesn't have it as natural she has it more like like dark and heavy so i'm going to shade a little bit more in there just to get it a little bit darker like hers is comfort zone lower lash line comfort zone and I am using a Morphe M503. So the next she connects the top to the bottom, but I do that while I'm doing my under eye. She did it with a different brush. So if you look here, I already connect that when I'm doing it. So I'm gonna skip that step. But if you don't connect your under eye to the top, then you do wanna take that brush and kind of go down and around like this. But I already do that to make sure they're connected. So now that we have that, and she did, like I said, she blended it together, but mine already kind of touch. When I look at her, I think her video is very pinky toned because her eyeshadow looks a lot different in color, but when you see the photo on Instagram, it looks more like the colors we're using. So we're going to go in to Thick Skin, which is that darker color on the corner that she showed you. And we're just going to tap a little bit of it on the outer corner to give it some depth. What I like to do is kind of bring it in just a smidge with a very pointy blending brush. So I am blending out thick skin just because I want it to be dark there, but I don't want it to be very harsh. So the next step, she goes in with Certified, which is a very the very light white shade in the pan. And she just starts to place it on her inner corner and then she blows it out. So she just starts right here and just starts going up. She also gets rid of her nose contour. So let's get rid of our nose contour or baking. So we're going to go from the inner corner and I'm going to go a little above my crease because I do have hooded eyes. So I want it to be seen um, when I open my eyes. So if you have hooded eyes and you're trying to recreate this look, the problem is we have to kind of blow it up higher because <laughs> as soon as we open our eyes, it'll disappear. Huh? Why do eyes look different? Mine's more like white and yours well, is more like... One, we're going to look different because we have different eye shapes than she does and we have different techniques than she does. But two, because again, her, the lighting in that video, it, I don't know. Because this looks like super white, where like on her it almost looks like a, pe a beige. A little bit more. So, and I'm just placing that white to have it. Because when you look at her eyes, like it's a super bold white and you can like really see it. So I'm trying to like place it so you can really see it. But I don't really want to like blow out too much where it's like just white. Okay, so, and then the next thing she does is she goes into her original palette, which I also have. And she's going in with Central Park. So I'm going to go in with that dark brown. And I'm going to just lightly line like she did. Just lightly. Nothing crazy. And she didn't wing it out. She just went to the end of her eyelid. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, you went wing. You winged it. See, I'm not winging mine. So we're going to put on our lashes and then we will be right back. All right, guys, so we are back and we did our lashes. So from what it looked like, it's, she said that she did a white liner on her 
on her waterline but it definitely looks like she also put dark brown look at her eyes it looks like she has black liner smudge there so what I'm gonna do from what I'm assuming she did because she did it off camera is I'm gonna go in with that dark brown that she lined the top line with and I'm just gonna smudge a little bit of that on my lower lash line right here because it definitely looks like somehow she darkened her lower lash line but then she was like yeah I just went in with with a white liner and I'm over here like okay but how did the how did it get so dark with it and now I'm just gonna go in I think with the same brush that I put color under there and just kind of fluff it out so it's not as harsh fluff it out and then we'll go in with the white liner and this is optional she said so if you don't want to do this baby you don't have to I will try all right all right, and I'm gonna pop on my lower lash mascara because I always wait to do my lower lash mascara until I'm done all my color and the liner because with it being white liner, it will make the tips of my lashes look really white, so. So she puts the same white shade on the inner corner of her eye to make it a little bit more wide or doughy eyed as she puts it. So I'm gonna go in with my same brush and I'm just going to put a little bit more white on that outer part. So see how right here now it's just a little bit, it looks a little bit more open, it really does. Um, and I guess because she's trying to do like an all matte look, that's why she's not doing like a shimmer, I guess. And then she gets rid of her bake, which mine kind of just came off. <laughs> hmm. Mine didn't do what hers does, like hers was so like. Cause she probably left it. And she put a lot, so that's like that was it. so long. So I'm going in with the Cheek Stars from Benefit, and I'm gonna go in with the Sugar Bomb blush right here, just because I think it looks a little bit closer to what she's using, because I do not have that blush. Okay, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put that Sugar Bomb blush right on my cheeks. And I do a lot more blush, I feel like, than she does, but I just like it. Is it okay if I put it on my nose? Yes, if you want to put the blush on your nose, you can put the blush on your nose. Okay, so I do have the Mood Light Powder in Carrots. So she only put the highlight on her nose and her chin, she said. And she used like a little pencil brush, so that is what we are gonna use. Oh, I do love this. I usually use this though to like set my face and make it nice and luminous. So it's a very nice powder. But she said she didn't do a lot because she was trying to do like a matte look so we're not gonna highlight our cheeks then we're just gonna do that and then highlight our chin okay so i am actually going to hit the tops of my cheeks with highlight because i don't like i, like I don't like highlighter. all this madness i need a, i need a little glow so okay so she's going to apply her lips so we are going to apply our lips and then we will be right back it, we did put our lips on. I used Rosie by Kylie Cosmetics. It was kind of the closest I could find. I was looking for a more pinky color, but this is kind of what we got. Madison used a elf. elf lip, like a it's lip like cream. Reddish. She put it back already, but she did more of a red look. So in the video, Jacqueline does say you can kind of like play with the colors, use different stuff. You didn't have to use exactly what she did. So Madison did more of a red vibe where I tried to keep it a little bit more true to color to her look. I hope you guys like this video I hope you like how it turned out if you guys want to see more looks recreated or you are excited about that series about me doing more recreated looks then go ahead and comment below and let me know whose look you want me to recreate um, and let me know where I can find it whether it be YouTube or Instagram and if you did like this video if you had fun watching it then go ahead and make sure you give it a big thumbs up make sure you are subscribed to my channel I do six videos every single week and you do not want to miss out on those and I will see you on the next one. Bye!